This is a help file to help set up dashboards within CenterPoint. What are dashboards? Let's first take a look. Currently, most people log into the client console in order to manage information. But because the client console is very robust, and even though it can be trimmed down, a lot of clients don't like to use this interface when managing information. Uh, although it's very simple to do, they just feel like it might be a little overpowering which we understand. So to that end we have developed dashboard modules and let me show you what these look like. These aren't from the back end, these are available from the front end of the site. And you can set them up basically wherever you want to so that as users log in if they have content management privileges they can go ahead and click on something like this uh, which we call a dashboard which welcomes the user and gives them access to all of the records that they need to maintain whether they need to uh, edit an existing record uh, as they see here or whether they need to submit a new record they're very simple to use uh, content management tools from the front end of the site that uh, just make it easier for people to get to the content they need to and to delete or uh, access the the records they need to so here they can search for records if there were a lot of records uh, here I'm going to search the word keyword and we find this record here. If I need to add a new record, I can click this and add my new record right to the site. So here we see the different types of content that this user has access to. They have access to navigation, uh, records in this module called Generic A, Generic B, Generic C, Generic D. So we want to explain how to set these up and how it works. So to do that, we're going to log into the back end. And the first thing we want to talk about is that the administrator record uh, found under site architecture, under administrators, is what controls a lot of those things. So for example, this user, John, might have access to certain types of modules, certain types of content. He may only be able to manage content within specific audiences. He may or may not have somebody reviewing his work. And when he logs in, he might see only certain number of records per page, uh, and of course when he logs in he might be welcomed by name or by photograph whatever so all of that stuff that you saw earlier in terms of uh, welcome you know user with the photograph and the name and the information this administrators record is what controls that grid now we don't have to set up those controls uh, we can make it very simple and just say okay everyone has full access to all of these records but typically we need to manage that administrative uh, privilege and also the editorial review okay now to break this down, because these are a little complicated to set up, but our team will set it up for you, um, these things start off with forms. So basically, all of those modules you saw earlier, uh, where I'm accessing events or navigation or news, these are a form. And these are a form that allows a user to update all that information. So we'll have all, the, all of that set up. Um, typically, these forms are already predefined in your template gallery, so you can simply release those. Uh, where they're already set up so it's very simple to set up uh, and what we want to do is we want to set that form up now when we set the form up we have to define the redirect link to make sure that when the person's done editing the record or adding their new record they're returning back to the place where they started so when we set this up that's an important note how to manage that it's also important to note that the uh, the groups that each one of these fields uh, relate to should be unique and that is because you don't want confusion between all of these different modules working in that tab view so a default group is essential for each one of these when setting these up uh, so two things default group and also the redirect link very important once those forms are set up we then are going to go to the dashboard modules and here you see uh, the rules over navigation so the navigation uh, tools that you saw earlier point to the form known as dashboard navigation. That's the form we'd set up for the navigation. Uh, we are allowing add new articles, we're allowing to edit, we're allow allowing to delete. So if I turned any one of these off, I might allow someone to just see records and not uh, modify them. I might not allow them to add new ones. So this is partly where we can set up controls as to um, what they can do, what they can add, what they can't add what audiences it relates to, how many people, it, uh, uh, different roles they can manage, and then of course formatting, how many records per page, the max limit, and this is the style stuff. So we're, again, your, your central, your Oxion team will set this up for you, but if you are curious, this is how it works. Um, 
the air forums being governed by this module here. The final step is we need to take the uh, scripts that are created by the dashboard modules, which is this script here. And we need to add that script into either just a web page. We might just have a web page that allows you to manage those records. In this case, we've chosen to set it up within a tab view. So as you saw earlier, there was tab one, welcome user, tab two, events, news, navigation, uh, generic A, generic B. These are all the different scripts. So those scripts from the dashboard modules will be placed here. And it's also very important to add certain things to the script like the um, uh, the actual group. So the group that you see here, very important. Uh, this multiple dashboards feature here, also very important. Uh, so we want to make sure that we add certain things to this script when applying it to the site. And uh, again, these will be built into the uh, records from the template so that when you create these, they'll already be ready to go and very quick to set up. But uh, again, for those who are curious how to set these up, if you wanted to customize them, very simple to do. And really any form uh, against any module can be set up in this way so that we have these very nice, easy to use uh, records from the front end.